二零二二年第八條題目係有關於生態系統嘅。咁題目就問我哋啦，分解者咧究竟係點樣加速到生態演替嘅過程咧？咁下面就話因為乜乜乜乜乜啦。咁題目咧就考翻我哋啦，有關於生態演替嘅終極目標啦，同埋啦發生過啲乜嘢事啦。第二啦，就係考翻分解者喺個生態系統嘅角色，尤其是咧係問翻氮循環嘅角色嘅。咁呢個題目啦，就考翻直線抽擊答題法啦。關咩事啊？就係、是、演替啊，究竟係一回乜嘢嘅事咧？喺演替嘅過程當中啦，生物咧漸漸改變嘅環境啦，令到環境變得越嚟越適合其他物種嘅生存，從而啦就吸引一啲新嘅物種進入個生境。並逐漸咧取代原有嘅物種啦，咁呢個過程就會不斷重複、不斷重複。隨住群落中嘅越嚟越多嘅物種出現咧，生物嘅物種多樣性亦都會隨此增加啦。嗱，呢個就係演替嘅終極目標。咁即係話啦，由一個地方本身咧可能係冇生物或者好少生物，就變得越嚟越豐盛、越嚟越多生物啦。咁呢個咧就係佢嘅終極目標咯。然後啦，就去到分解者嘅角色咯。分解者咧。係附生嘅生物，即係話啦，專係咧食一啲死屍啊，話冇生命嘅有機物質嘅，例如啦，真菌啦、細菌啦，都係分解者嘅例子啦。咁當佢哋啦去所謂食嗰啲屍體啊、糞便啊、一啲排泄物嘅時候咧，其實所謂嘅食咧係講緊佢哋能夠將呢啲有機嘅物質去拆解。變成一啲無機嘅物質嘅，咁呢個咧亦都係我哋成條題目當中嗰個症結所在啦。所以今次嘅題目咧，主力就係有關於物質嘅循環啦。分解者咧就係將啲有機物質拆解成為無機物質啦。咁啊，睇下答案，做一擊破咯喎。咁而家咧，我哋做一擊破咯喎。誒、哎，呢、這個答案咧就錯嘅。佢就話啦，分解者能夠加速到生態演替，係因為佢哋將啲石頭咧就變成泥土喎。其實就唔係嘅。咁其實岩石能夠變成泥土嘅粒子咧，係因為啦侵蝕同埋呢個風化嘅。咁啊，例如啦喺個天氣嘅冷暖之間啊，誒熱脹啊冷縮，令到岩石咧可能有少少嘅缺位，跟住啦滲咗啲雨水落去。咁雨水入面咧，其實佢係弱酸性啊嘛。咁啊開始啦，慢慢溶咗啲礦物質去。跟住啦，再加埋有啲翻風啊，落下雨啊，就將啲細小嘅微粒咧就沖走咗，又就形成泥土啦。B 咧都係錯喎，因為佢話啦，分解者咧係能夠移除咗啲死咗嘅有機物，仲要喺邊度移除啊？離開咗泥土喎，咁啊死得啦！如果係嘅話咧，泥土係唔會變厚嘅，亦都唔會咧夠多嘅養分咧去支撐到啲生物嘅成長，尤其是係植物啊。啊咁所以咧。呢、这個都係唔成立嘅，因為你睇翻咧生態演替嘅重點就係我哋想吸引多啲嘅物種嚟臨啊嘛。咁喺個生境當中，如果佢有多啲嘅 producer 生產者咧，咁自不然啊都係可以吸引多啲動物嚟到啦，係咪？咁 C 佢就話啦，生產者咧係能夠以二氧化碳嘅形式啦，就將啲碳咧釋放翻去大氣層當中嘅，即係咁。其實呢個答案咧係一個最強勁嘅干擾答案啊，因為睇起上嚟咧。好啱，好啱啊！咁可能你會問啦，喂，兩 Sir， 分解者咧喺個碳循環冇角色嘅咩？有，佢真係有角色嘅。咁但係啦，釋放二氧化碳就同加速咗生態演替咧，就冇一個直接關係啦。咁係因為我哋係想吸引多啲生物喺度啊嘛。咁啊，吸引多啲生物個基礎啦。啊，咁啊，當然自不然就係生產者，跟住有消費者啦，係咪？咁所以多啲二氧化碳咧，其實就唔一定係會令到一啲大棵啲嘅植物係能夠適合喺呢個環境度生存嘅。跟住去到 D 啦 ，D 咧就係正確啦。咁去到 D 咧，佢就話啦，分解者咧係能夠以一個 ammonium compound 嘅形式啦，就將啲氮咧釋放翻去泥土當中。呢、这個就係我哋頭先講分解者嘅角色啦，將一啲有機嘅物質拆解成為無機嘅物質，例如 nitrate 啦。咁所以啦，就會令到泥土多咗一啲無機嘅養分，咁泥土就會夠厚啦，夠多養分啦，去支撐到一啲較為大棵嘅植物啦。咁自不然就會吸引多啲嘅動物嚟到啦。有咗棵樹嘅，吸引啲雀仔嚟築巢啦。咁自不然咧，多咗啲動物嘅出現啦，係咪？嗱，咁今次嘅題目咧，就係問翻呢個物質嘅循環啦。咁下次啦，問下你有關於能量嘅傳遞又得唔得啦？梗係可以啦。Two two two question. It is about the ecosystem. The composer can speed up the process of ecological succession because they can do something. So this question it we call the ultimate goal of succession. So what is the ultimate goal of succession, or what's going on in the process of ecological succession? 
organisms modify their environment in ways that allow other species to come in and replace them. And the process repeats and the species diversity progressively increases as more and more species appear in the community. And the species diversity reaches a maximum when a climate community is reached. So you can see that the ultimate goal of the succession is that we want more and more organisms to live in a certain habitat. And then the second idea, we need to recall the role of the decomposer in the ecosystem, especially nitrogen cycle. So you can see that the decomposer, they are saprophytic. They feed on dead, non-living organic matter, just like the fungi, the bacteria, they are the examples of the decomposer. And when they feed on the dead bodies, feces, or the excretory products of the producer or the consumer, so actually what are they doing? They are doing that to break down the organic matter into inorganic nutrients. So that's what they do. So let's take a look at the answer one by one. Option A is wrong because they say that the decomposer can break down the rocks into soil particles. And surely it's wrong because the rocks are broken down by the weathering, by the action of the wind, the moisture and the rain. Because the rain, they are slightly acidic. So the acid can dissolve the minerals in the rocks. And then with the rainwater, the uh, minerals will and then by the action of the wind or moisture, so the soil particles, the soil layer will become thicker and thicker. And then option B is also wrong. It says that the decomposer remove the dead organic matters from the soil. If it's really happening, the soil will not become thick and rich in nutrients. Therefore, the growth of the plants, for example, the trees will not be support. So remember the goal of the succession. We want more and more species appear in the community, right? However, now, okay, so we cannot support the big, big tree. Okay, so what if there is less producer? So we cannot really invite some more consumers to the habitat, right? And the option C is also wrong, and it is the powerful distractor. It says that the decomposer released the carbon back to the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. That this statement, yes, is correct because the decomposer are really indeed involved in the carbon cycle however the release of the carbon dioxide is not directly related to the speeding up to the process of the ecological succession if we would like to invite more and more species or the consumer to the particular habitat so we need more and more producer first so for the producer, we do not need some small plant, we need some big, big trees. So therefore, the soil must be thick, rich, so to, some, to supply sufficient nutrients for the plants to grow up. So for the carbon dioxide, honestly, there are carbon dioxide in the atmosphere already. So it's not really a attraction point for the plants that grow here. Yes, they can grow better, but we cannot. The December. But without the thick and rich soil, we cannot support a big tree to grow up. And then finally, option D is correct. It says that the decomposer released nitrogen back to the soil and in the form of ammonium compound. So because the decomposer will break down the organic matters in the dead bodies into inorganic matters, for example, nitrates, Therefore, the process will enrich the soil, make it thick, make it rich in nutrients, enough for the growth of the bigger plants. And then more animals are attracted to the habitat. For example, if we have some big, big trees in the habitat, so we may attract some birds uh, to build their nest. And this question, it asks us the material cycling. So what about next time? It asks us the role of the decomposer in the energy flow.